every time. <laughs> So we will see as we go right into it. Game one on Fountain. And uh, was game one on Fountain last week? I feel like it wasn't. I want to say it was on Battlefield or Yoshi's. Yeah, Battlefield seems like it would be the, the usual neutral start here. But mm -hmm. starting at the lead this time. Yeah, and I assume that that was a, a change on SFAT's end, right? Because he did lose game one. Oh, wow. Barely gets that up. Yeah. Nicely done from Kadoran. Um, but yeah, he did lose, obviously, games one and two last time and had to make that reverse 3-0. So, kind of makes sense that SFAT wants to try something different. Yeah. Um, and I don't think this is too bad for the matchup. It's just that the platforms tend to hurt the more technical character, right? Mm -hmm. Since since they're uh, a little unpredictable and stuff like that. And Marth is usually not going to try to find himself on the platforms yeah. anyway. Right. Oh, wow. SFAT with a little bit of a miscue there. Almost had too much time to think about that. Yeah, sometimes when, you, when you're when you in situations like that, you have so many different options that you kind of don't throw out anything mm -hmm. until until it's too late, and you're like, oh, man, I, I, this is definitely very wrong. Yeah. Too much time, oddly enough, can be a problem. Mm -hmm. This is why I almost would prefer, if, if Marth does do the high up B like that, I almost prefer hitting him before he touches the ground. Cause, yeah, no jump. Yeah, no jump at that point, and you have to think less about like which side he's going to land on or whatever. Yeah. Ideally, yeah, that would be definitely good. Not letting, not letting Mark Fox do it. Mm -hmm. Again! Yeah, same exact edge guard. Just so ready for it. Anytime Fox just like <coughs> dips low, where mm -hmm. you can get the up B, it feels like Kodoran always gets it. Yeah. Yeah, unless Fox goes super low, then Marth can almost always reach it, so... Mm -hmm. It's a, a tough spot for Fox to be. Yeah, and then if you go super low, you give so much time to set up a different type of edge guard for the yeah. box end. So sometimes just doing the quick thing is good. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh! The reset off the drill? That lower platform height on the right side actually made it a little bit harder for Kadorn to continue the, the combo. Oh, okay. Yeah, true. Wow, that was kind of a reverse of the earlier situation yeah. where this time Kadorn couldn't pull the trigger fast enough. I, I guess it's fell off though that was pretty much an SD. Yeah. Seeing a few of those today. I think along with people looking really sharp, we're also seeing people look a, a bit nervous, you know, with these big tourneys coming up. It's certainly understandable. Yeah, definitely a lot of build up even from the players end, right? Like if mm. we're talking the build up from the spectators end, there's mm. definitely so much at play for players. Oh, Absolutely. Wait. Uh oh. Wait for the spot dodge, wait Bad for the air dodge. Spot. Okay. Does get double jump to ledge there, which he desperately needed, but again gets grabbed. Yeah, I mean, Kadorn has been dashing back a lot, right? And just waiting for the defensive option. So Esfat's got to take a second before he goes for another aggressive attack. I like that little wait. Oh, and the shine, that might be it. Oh, it hasn't oh, okay. landed yet. That's what Chillin talked about. Yeah, smart to implement Chillin's ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Glad he was listening to my commentary. Good stuff, Zach. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Oh, SFAT in a scary spot now. Yeah. And yeah, playing on the top platform there, I think, is uh -oh. reasonable, but yeah. Okay, no tipper. Oh, beautifully spaced, uh, replaced side B. Oh, and he gets the, the back air. It cleans up game one, so yeah. we're definitely not going to need to see the double FT win from SFAT this time, but we are likely going to FT right now. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, SFAT counterpicks. After, if, if he loses here, he counter picks him back. He <laughs> goes <team>. back to <laughs> the I, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, but yeah, nicely done for Mesfet, who started to look a bit shaky there. Kind of didn't seem to have a game plan as far as how to approach that situation in neutral, but still managed to close that game out. So nicely done. As we go to FB as predicted. The missed wave dash actually turned out really good. Because he just like aired a wave dash through Kadoran, and Kadoran was trying to punish him on the ground. Mm -hmm. But we got a chain grab. Yeah, this should be a giant chunk of damage and then get sent off stage. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. jumps a little too early and doesn't get like the proper drift on it. Mm -hmm. So you're just kind of stuck going way more vertical than horizontal. Right, right. Oh, Ooh. wow. What? Nicely done from SFAT. Just barely connected. Yeah, I'm surprised Kadorn didn't get the smash DI because mm -hmm. it was pretty far to the right um, after the 
they're doing the up air. Yeah, maybe he expected to just fall out without the smash VI, because that does happen when the, the up air is that far sometimes, but you would expect a player like Kadoran to kind of do it just in case anyway. Right. Some good damage coming out from SFAT. Of course, that can be replicated by Kadoran with one grab, and there it is. Okay, Let's see how far this goes. Oh. Oh, oh, not getting the re grab off the up air that time. But yeah. Just down tilting over and over again. Yeah, we definitely got to give some uh, some credit to SFAT's DI there. Absolutely. Oh, man. Oh. The raw side B in neutral. I kind of like it, just given how SFAT has been approaching. Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah, could... crazy option like that, Kadoran's a lot less likely to be ready for, but. Yeah. It's a. Uh, Still a risky one, nonetheless. Ooh, I love the chase down from from Esfet. Oh my wow. god! Wow, yeah, he's right on him. Yeah, and Marth was like turned around to during that pressure, so mm -hmm. it was like very difficult to even like you can't get a oh. grab or anything either. You know? Oh man, and Esfet noticed that the jump was gone, and so he overcommitted a bit there, and yeah. Kadoran makes him pay for it. Yeah. Okay, just giving a lot of. Oh, man. Keeping the crash cancel there in case the, the forward air or some other attack comes out. Oh, and SFAT getting uh, yeah. perhaps a little too crazy on the edge there. That's so scary, right? Yeah. Because, okay, but I, I think it's a scary spot to be as Fox, but you also have to put a little bit of pressure on the, the corner, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a real interesting push and pull that Fox has to do in those kind of situations. For sure. Okay. Four down tilts. <laughs> okay, this is big. Kadoran kind of needs a huge, uh, at least a ton of damage here, and he is getting it. Uh, I wonder if that was meant to be forward smash as opposed to that quick forward tilt that he did off the mm. row. Very possible. Once again, great DI from SFAT, but he goes right into Kadoran's waiting sword, mm -hmm. and that should be the stock. Let's see. Okay. Up tilt's going to do it. Oh, he doesn't even get the laser, puts the light shield out, <laughs> so he doesn't even get shield poked mm -hmm. with the laser just in case. Very smart from Kadoran. <laughs> <laughs> no extra, no 3%. Oh, it's oh that's spot for Kadoran. <gasps> that was oh, so smart. Oh, the rollback. Yeah, wow. That was really tricky yeah, because Kadoran I don't, I has wonder, been doing the quick up Bs. I wonder why we never see that. Because <laughs> it has to be a hard call out on yeah, the yeah. Oh, oh my. Just, what? That was so quick. <laughs> That was so fast. That's just not how I expected that game to end. We're just at in all. the middle of praising Zach. Yeah. Oh, dude, that was a... what? Like how... he he just got knocked off stage and was forced to up B under the stage. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Kadorn with the immediate recognition to go for that downer was very very good on his end because that was looking like a two zero lead for SFAT. Yeah, and a very strong two zero lead, right? Winning on the on the counter pick like that. On the best counter pick that Mart's got. Kadora's clutch. That that was really clutch. Like yeah. you said, it's not that much timing. Not, I don't know. It was fast. It, you, it was yeah, fast. he had to make that decision in a split second time frame, and yeah. then also not mess it up. Like, yeah, that was really good from Kadoran for sure. And now we got one to one, and we're going to Yoshi's. Really good, really a uh, good stage for Fox in this matchup in the, the modern era. You yeah, just rush down, hmm. mark a little bit better, just not as much space. So right, there's just less room to dash back. There's just less room for some of the defensive play that Mark might like to do. Mm -hmm. And he dies off the top very quickly. Yeah, yeah, and then and yeah, just the combo game. Is so big, oh, that's but... so unfortunate. Randall is gonna assist Kadoran. Oh, and but, assist whoa. Sfat. Yeah, he gives give it and then take it away. <laughs> Randall. Randall's such a cheeky guy. <laughs> oh my god, Randall is getting super involved <laughs> in this stuff. Randall. Randall, what are you doing, bro? Oh! oh. <laughs> Thundercats! Oh my god. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I, I just really thought, like... I'll just feel, just to see the raw up smash like yeah. that is, is pretty rare these days. Yeah. But, uh, nicely done from Kadoran. Oh, oh man! Oh my god. Okay. That's that with the quick side B. Smart. Nice shine grab as well. Okay. Some nice little damage here. Uh oh. That was really smart to just fall through like that and then do yeah. the up air when you're below Fox. Oh, and S Fat with the SD. And yeah, because uh, Kadorn fell through there, you almost visibly saw that S Fat was like confused by the yeah. situation. He just didn't know what to do. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. 
that barely it, the bear uh, barely barely <laughs> connected and then the up smash barely connected as well that was a uh, Really well done from SFAT, but he is still down a solid amount here on his own counter pick. Oh no. Man, what a swing the end of that game two was. Yeah. Cause now this is looking like a two one Kadoran lead potentially. Oh man, this shine guy's kinda of messing up the timing a little bit. That's a great shine. Can you get the edge guard? Wow. wow that's just yeah. it. He took the jump apparently. Mm. So that's big right now. Randall almost <laughs> threw off S Fat two again, right? Because he kinda of landed on Randall and then had to jump off of that. Shine out of shield, too far away for Shine out of shield that time. Playing on the top platform. Ooh. <gasps> wow. What's going on, dude? You're getting the shine. Okay. Oh my goodness. As fast. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, that was a great wave shine, but now he's off stage. Oh, and he's Kadorn. dead. Man. Kadorn is so on point when the fox is off stage. Yeah. Just relentless. That's, that's a situation he's 100% ready for. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, a lot of these spaces, as we saw with Bobby earlier, now we're seeing with SFAT, have really figured out some tricks in the neutral that yeah. allow them to mitigate Marth's range advantage a little bit. But when it comes to the edge guarding, <laughs> there's there's not too much you can figure out. <laughs> yeah, there's no sliding <laughs> off. There's no, yeah. there's nothing. <laughs> They need to put like a little platform off stage so yeah, they can like kind of slide off. That would be great, up. great for the spaces. <laughs> I mean, there's there's Randall, but Randall there, Randall was apparently on Kadoran's side that game. Right, right, right. Randall definitely team Kadoran. <laughs> Randall actually secretly also sponsored by FlyQuest. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game four and Kadoran looking to close it out. Obviously, pretty comfortable on Stadium. This is where we saw him take Bobby. So this is not a huge advantage stage for SFAT by any means. Mm -hmm. okay. Potentially could even bode worse than Yoshi's, honestly. Yeah, in some, some instances, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least gets mm. the right hit, but man, Gordon is just also really well prepared to mix it up between like the light up bears, the up tilts, and F smash. Yeah. Sometimes even doing the F smash at like low ish percent. Yeah. And uh, I really liked how Kadorn kind of jumped onto the platform and then immediately, uh, not jumped onto the platform, but fainted like he was about to, to bait out the getup attack from SFAT to set up that tipper. Yeah. I gotta okay. say, that slide off that SFAT did on the right side to get off the up tilt and get the drill into grab, mm -hmm. crazy. But Kadorn just is not. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was pretty sick from SFAT, but Kadorn is getting the kills right now. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah. Oof. So you get low, low percent because that throws off slide off in particular, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. And yeah, that's crazy that the the way the meta is evolving, we're going to start to see some, some moves that might be considered bad to use at low percent be used just to, to mess with slide offs because yeah. that's becoming such a huge part of the meta now. Yeah. We're just circled all the way back around. Yeah. <laughs> just throw out it's, smash attacks. It's just going to look out, look like 2002 Melee again when we're said, all said and done here. All the old, all the old school players are just going to come back. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can just F-smash again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Uh-oh. And S-Fat taking a bit of a risk there to try to make something happen. Unfortunately, does not work out. Okay, does get the kill there. SFAT's got to dig deep here to try to bring this to a game five. Mm -hmm. All the CCs are good at this particular position. Mm -hmm. Oh man, needs way oh. more off of that up throw up uh -oh. there. But now stuck in the air, great DI though. Oh man, that was a really good idea oh. with the Nair. And yeah, just the short hop down there. Kadorin taking it three to one over SFAT.